making our way downtown, walking fast. I don't know the rest of the words, but we're right now walking down the street in downtown looking for the famous Seattle dogs. So that's the first thing that we're trying to eat. Actually, we messed up and that ain't the first thing that we're eating out here because we've already had, Donuts. yeah, from Top Pot, Top Pot Donuts that seem like they're trying to copy Randy's. But how would you think of them though? I like my little thing. It was good. Mine was cool too. It looked like it was a little dry, but it tastes good, so it made up for the way that it looked. But yeah, it says we got about uh, seven minutes or so walking. From what I see so far in the videos I've seen online, the city of Seattle is a town of walking. Not many people, well, I won't say not many people have cars, but uh, especially for tourists and stuff like that, they say no need to rent a vehicle because you're going to be paying a lot of money uh, to park said vehicle. So instead of doing that, they have uh, rental bikes and scooters. I'll show you guys one right now that I'm getting ready to pass. Like the Lime scooters or whatever they're called. Those as well as, uh, I think maybe like two different companies or so of the rental bikes that you can get out here. So, oh, as well as a, a bunch of other ways of transit, buses all over the place. As you can see right behind me, there's like two buses right there. We got here from the airport all the way on a uh, on the metro, the trolley, tram, whatever they call it. And um, yeah, now we on foot. About to go get our dogs. Catch you guys in a second. So as I was discussing ways to get around, a lady in a business suit, so I think she might be on her way to work, she was actually riding one of those scooters in the street. They say you're not allowed to ride them on the sidewalk, so be prepared to ride in the street. And I didn't see not one single person wearing a helmet. Just keep that in mind. Where we going, Nate? We're about to go get us a Seattle dog, baby. A Seattle dog. Tell me what a Seattle dog consists of. All I know is it got cream cheese on it, and I like cream cheese, so we're going to go see what they're hitting for. It's the, the, the infamous, the, not the infamous, the famous Seattle dog, so let's go check it out see how they taste. Outside of dog in the park. All right, so the first place that we stopped to buy is called Dog in the Park, and it is literally a hot dog stand in the middle of a park with no grass, by the way. It's all concrete street. Um, they're known for the Seattle dogs, which consist of cream cheese, caramelized vegetables on a toasted bun. So here's the guy whipping it up for us. You know what I'm saying? It actually did look very good, but let's get to the taste test. See what it's really hitting this for. Is the setting of where we're at across from Macy's. How you doing? <laughs> All I see is a bunch of jalapenos, cream cheese on the side. Mm -hmm. Where them uh oh he covered up my grilled onions, huh? It's I'm under a, it's under a hole those jalapenos. I'm out watering though, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, let's dig in. Let's see what we think. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like it already. I like the burnt bun too. Um. You wanna see that? The burnt bun. I like the burnt veggies. Own. I haven't even tasted the veggies yet. My jalapenos ain't burnt. They had that flavor though. Mm. Looks like they raised the price on it too. It used to be eight dollars, but now it's nine dollars plus a tip. You know, tip ain't mandatory, but I still tipped them because that was pretty cool. Oh. This is that cream cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Now, no, it's good when you got dance when you eat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What else we plan on doing on this trip? What it, what else are we doing? I just know we're going to Pike Place Market. But that'll be in a separate video. I wanna go this. to the space needle. Hey, we should have probably did that tonight though, huh? Well you think it'll be nice to see the city at night? Do they operate at night? You have to schedule it. We'd have to schedule it. So we might wanna look up all the stuff we wanna do. And then the pass, I think, is 115. So if we, what we want to do is more expensive than 115, we'll get the pass. I definitely come back for this. Five out of five, I recommend. Who would have thought that the veggies would complement the hot dog this good? And cream cheese. 
never just thought to put cream cheese on a hot dog. Never. I ain't gonna lie though. I don't know. I don't know if it's nine dollars good, but it's good though. Yeah, probably not nine. How much a regular co a hot dog cost? It like costs three or four dollars. That's for a, a fair price one. If you go to if you go to a football game, it do cost about eight dollars for a plain hot dog. And you gotta go put your own ketchup on it, and it just be the dog. You just add ketchup and mustard. So for nine dollars and get all this extra stuff, mm -hmm. I think that's a good price. But outside of you know buying it where you're at in a special location, we're just outside in the park. Nine dollars. I would say about seven. This it's it's like seven fifty. I think that'll be a fair price for this. Mm. Oh whoa! What? I was about to cut the camera off. Now I got a big old big old bite of that cream cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I raised that 750 to an eight. Mm. But yeah, let us eat. We, we'll be right back. Oh, I've always seen alleys in movies and scary stuff happening when you walk down these things, but I've never actually seen one in person. So here is an alley that I'm pretty sure would be very scary at night, especially from the things that I've seen already. And I've only been here for just a couple hours. Let's get the hell up out of here. Y'all, we so lame. First two places we done came, Ross and Target. As if we ain't got one everywhere we already at. Like some buffoons. How you feel coming up in here? Fine and safe. <laughs> <laughs> she said fine and safe. Crazy. I wasn't too impressed with their Target. It was a three-story, but I'm from San Diego. We got a three-story Walmart, so that wasn't too impressive. I did want to show you guys that, though. But now, to the Ferris wheel. As we were walking down the street, we came across a very, very nice view overlooking the water. Um, had I known in advance, we could have actually booked a ride on a boat and got a tour of the city from the water. Maybe next time. Though. There's a lot of hills out here. And what do you know? One of those hills led us right on down to the Public Market Center, a.k.a. Pike Place Market. One of the longest, if not the longest running farmer's market in all of the United States. Our intention was not to come up here today at all, but there's a lot of stuff all combined uh, in the same area. So we went to go get a hot dog. We were looking for a separate place just to get a drink and we bumped into Pike Place Market. So they should be open for at least like another hour. So we might as well just walk through today and probably come back tomorrow and really come with the intentions of eating. But there's a lot of people got, uh, I don't know if they're still over there, but got tripods and stuff set up. Everybody's doing photo shoots and stuff out here. Um, this place has been around for quite a bit, so it is a uh, pretty busy, packed spot. Let's check it out real quick. Yo, I'm a sucker for a good view. I don't know if the lighting is right, but it's a really good to be able to uh, get you some food from right over here. This, where I'm at right now, I don't know the name of this place is closed. But you can get some food, chill right over here in the seating area and overlook a very nice view on the water and watching boats and ships and stuff like that go by. This is pretty cool. Had I not heard about all the rain that happens out here so often, uh, the reason for my trip to visit out here is because I, I kind of wanted to move out here to be honest with you. Something I did forget to mention guys, everything around here is hills. Seems like there's hills everywhere you go. so. It's a lot of uh, walking, on foot action. You see, you see, she started copying me with the shoes too. We got the same shoes, different mm -hmm. colorway. But at least they're comfortable. We're putting them to use to walk up all these massive hills. Right now, the hot butter rum, apple cider. And what do you know too? Something else that we wanted to do is right behind us, Beecher's Handmade Cheese. We had a taste for that, but we didn't know everything was gonna be again right next to each other. So it looks like we will be on a mission walking these hills to get anything that we desire. Something else I've noticed too about their transit is their buses are connected to these things right there. I don't know why, but that's something I've noticed. Just pointing it out. Yeah, it's rum butter. Rum it's butter. Flavor. It's extremely flavorful. And the fact that it says rum butter in the name i'm thinking it has some alcohol in it but maybe i could be completely tripping i don't feel no buzz or nothing like that but i'm just saying it has a very strong taste it's very very good and very sweet rum butter 
apple cider from Pike Place Market on our first day out here. We're coming back tomorrow, like I've been telling you guys over and over. And do you have any? Did you see any stops that you want to make when we come back tomorrow? Um, there is so many. There is this girl making crochet, um, like little um, keychains. So I think I'm gonna stop there because she had a lot of like. Little because she lost her last one that she just got already. So she wants to get another one and lose it before we leave. See y'all tomorrow. Now I know I said I'll see y'all tomorrow, but we ended up getting hungry on a late night and a lot of places closed, unlike Las Vegas. So one of the only places that was open was the ice cream shop. We busted a mission for almost about 38 minutes all the way to go to salt and straw ice cream. And let me tell you, it was all the way worth it. 11 o'clock, maybe about 10.45 ish. Uh, we stopped at Salt and Straw Ice Cream. Don't want to turn it upside down, but I got me a waffle cone with the bowl. Um, I got cinnamon snickerdoodle flavor. Tastes very good. I would show you guys, but I only got one hand right now walking down the street. Also, I'm walking right next to an Amazon Go store for the very first time. I've heard of these stores, never seen them. Um, the way it works, though, I guess, is you scan your phone uh, with your Amazon account, like at the entrance of the building. You walk in, uh, I guess you grab whatever you want and walk out and somehow they know what you picked up and they charge you on your Amazon account later so maybe tomorrow or something they'll test it out and walk inside of here. For now though, I will be enjoying my salted, uh, no, my cinnamon snicker little. Taking a picture with my ice cream in the middle of the night. Yeah, I was proud. Bro, this is like the fifth or sixth time I've seen something like this today out here. And I really want to know who the hell is barbecuing in a sewer. Like, what is they making? If everybody's cooking down there, it must be good. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Good night.